So now we will see the question here. CIAB ABM frequently asked questions. A person invested rupees 1 lakh in a bank FDR that is in fixed deposit and rate of interest is 6% per annum for one year. If the interest is compounded on half yearly basis, the amount payable shall be dash. So these are the given options. That's A option is 1 lakh 960, 1 lakh 960, 1 lakh 3090, 1 lakh 6090. So we will just see, we will just try to solve the above question here. And then we will see which option is the proper answer for it. Now just see here. This is the question here. So I will just show you. This is the question which we have just read. And these are the options. Before seeing the answer, first we will try to understand the question. And for understanding itself means we will just note down the given question that is the given. So what is given here? Principal amount, right? So what's the principal amount? Principal amount is 1 lakh. Here is the principal amount. So I've written here P 1 lakh rate of interest. What's the rate of interest is 6% per annum for one year. So one year is 6%. So we will write R is equal to 6%. Then if the interest is compounded, compounded on half yearly, make this point, make this an important point half yearly basis and interest is compounded on half yearly basis half yearly means just 6 by 2 6 by 2 just give the half that is 3 percent per annum so 3 percent per annum is equal to 3 divided by 100 it will be 0 0.03 per annum so just see here it will be 0 0.03 per annum then the duration duration that is the time is one year so one year is equal to here they have said it's 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 compounded on half yearly basis it's compounded on half yearly basis so one year which is equal to half years two half years that so that means one year is the time duration one will be divided by two so it will be two half years then we will see now the future value. So just see here, I have written here FV is equal to the principal amount that is the P multiplied by in a bracket 1 plus the rate of interest and the duration here. Just see here how to solve. Now this is the practical question you need to think clearly and understand. See now, this is your formula which is very important. I will just mark here that you can able to understand this is your formula see this is your formula for this for this future value this is your formula so now what we will do is we will just write now the future value is equal to p okay p given is 1 lakh so we will just write here the 1 lakh multiplied by 1 plus the same we will copy here 1 plus r r itself means rate of interest rate of interest here they have set half yearly so we have to three percent per annum that is 0 0.03 0 0.03 you should take here then you should close the back the bracket 1 plus 0 0.03 then comes the that is your multiplication sign here 2 2 means this one this two the time okay now just see here the rough note i have done for you see this 1 plus 0 0.03 it will be 1.13 sorry 1 point this 03 which you can see here you can see this one here i will just show you this one is here 1.03 first 1.03 this 1.03 of of this 1.03 this is 1.03 this 1.03 as it's shown here for 2 so we have multiplied it with once again so 1.03 you need to multiply and then you need to click in equal to no need to write this one just click on your calculator multiple sign and then equal to def you are directly you will get this answer that is you will get this answer this answer you will get that is 1.0609 which is your answer. So here 
see this one this entire it will be this entire it will be can just see here i am just marking here this entire it will be the answer is here the answer will be here 1.0609 okay this is your answer for it then comes we will multiply that you can see here 1.0609 we have multiplied by 1 lakh we have got the answer as 1 lakh 6000 see here 1 lakh 6090 see now 1 lakh 6090 is your answer hence here it's highlighted in red color the answer 1 lakh 6090 again i will explain you just see here see here what are they asking us is is someone who is invested 1 lakh in a bank in fixed deposit and the rate of interest is 6% for one year but if the interest is compounded interest means how it interest is done interest is calculated on yearly basis right so here they are just stating if suppose for an example if the interest is compounded on half yearly basis the amount payable should be how much they are asking so we will just note down the given points that is the principal amount is 1 lakh rate of interest is 6% so 6% for one year now they are mentioning it's compounded on half yearly basis so we will just divide it into 2 it will be 2 right 2 half half so it will be 2 so we will write here 2 this is 6% right 6% 6% is half it will be 3% so 3 by 100 equals to 0.03 then comes the time the duration it's one year they have stated but as we are calculating it from half interest rate, that is the half yearly basis we will see here to the half yearly basis then comes the future value so they are asking us the future value how much they should pay that is future value is equal to the principal amount multiplied by 1 plus r that, that is the 1 plus r r is the rate of interest rate of interest 1 plus r divided by 100 r divided by 100 that is 3 divided by 100 which we have done directly that is 0.03 so directly we will write here 0.03 then we will close the bracket and then we will write here that is above here we will write 2 hence we will see now the future value is equal to the principal amount is 1 lakh 1 lakh multiplied by 1 plus rate of interest 0.03 we'll write write directly here we'll close the bracket and then we'll give the time as 2 now 1 plus 0.03 which is equal to 1.03 which is here you can see here this 1.03 will come for this one see then 1.03 multiply by just just click on the multiplication symbol okay this button and then directly click on the equal to you will get this answer if at all you are clicking on this one 1.03 into 1.03 also you will get this answer but for your to answer i am saying you so just 1.03 multiplied by 1.03 why because it's 2 so we will just multiply it once again so we will get the answer as 1.0609 which is this answer this one it this whole answer it will be here 1.0609 which we will multiply with 1 lakh we will get the answer as 1 lakh 6090 1 lakh 6090 which i have written here and then i have given here highlighted here in red color the answer